September 3rd. At 5.20 p.m. We don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess all we did today was, I went, basically I woke up, I got Chinese breakfast. I went with Emily and we ran like six miles, like way up north, just exploring Seattle. That's not PAX. It was, but we did that before PAX. Uh -huh. But then we skipped the first uh -huh. hour of PAX to go get uh, Kai Kai Sushi. Sure, so anyway, I went, I got a sticky rice, and a sesame ball, uh -huh. and a steamed pork bun. And then I went to a room and I uploaded the video for yesterday. 305, I, that's the room. Yeah, and then all we did was play games literally all day until just now at like four. So I busted out Attica, which is a game that I bought like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's way, like I liked it back then, but I remember we thought like, oh, it's boring, it's kind of well played. It's back, like it's a good game. Also it smelled really bad, like that box hasn't been opened in 10 years at least. <laughs> like it had an odor to it. Anyway, yeah, we played a whole bunch of games today. It pretty much is not even a game that I made. Yep. It was the first playtest ever and it wasn't completely it's, unplayable. It's, there's there's a good game buried in there and we already got some good ideas. Anyway, too. so that's all we did today, which is why there hasn't been much video action. Partly because- There's a bunch of time lapses of all the games I played. We're in the hotel room like getting all our crap together because literally right. we our thing at PAX is we always do no, lecture or two. Know that they're watching this channel. Yeah. Our panel is it 6:30 or six? 6:30. Sure, it's 6:30, yeah. not six. It's 6:30. It's 5:20 right now. Well, so we always go to the room like an hour and a half early to like do a practice run and get we're, all our. We're just together. in the hotel getting our shit together, so we're making this. Uh, and the next thing you'll see is probably some silent video of us doing the panel with some music in the background, followed oh. by whatever happens after that, which is probably more games. And then tomorrow. The last day of PAX. Uh, Games all day, then Omegathon. I think I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go to the uh, expo hall for like a couple hours just to see what there is to see, especially in the indie area. Yeah, Emily's in then, there now. Then games all day in Omegathon. So. Oh, this PAX is like three quarters over, basically. The thing is, on Friday, it felt like it was so long, like the longest PAX yet. Yeah. And but, then it but accelerated. But now it's accelerating, because we spent, we basically spending that whole day in one room, you know, really just blew this day. This day just disappeared. I feel like, oh, I lost this See, day. See, that's the thing with the Omegathon. You'd be in a room, and then you like, go somewhere When you back. do more different things in one day, the day feels longer. So my like, advice... When you go to work, and then after work, you go do something else, it feels what? like you got more, even though it was the same number of hours. So my advice to you, if you go to a PAX, is don't just go to one area of tabletop. Do a, if you do a wide variety of things, it'll feel a lot more like you didn't. Even if so you it just feels like you got more out of it. Tabletop in like one room, and then like get some food, and then tabletop in a different room. Yeah. That will that'll do it. That'll, that'll work. That'll make your day feel longer. So anyway, uh, let's go get do our panel. We're making a move. Midnight. It's past midnight. It is, I guess, technically the final day of PAX. It's Monday, Labor Day. Labor it's four day Labor Day. Day for, uh, which means the third day is over. We're gonna go to bed, wake up, and then yep. PAX one more day only. We did our panel, so I had to just be like awake and ready just for that, and I can do whatever. Mm. Panel went pretty well. All, all, really, all we did today is do the panel and play board games all day since we didn't do any Omegathon. Uh, there wasn't really anything else to speak of today. The panel went well, I yep. guess. A lot more people showed up than I thought would show up. We did a we played Ghost Court and it was as good as we expected. The Ghost Court we just played was way good. Ghost uh, Court will get a lot of play at conventions, I think, now. Yeah, we did this just like a uh, little escape room in a box, which I don't it's not really an escape room, it's really just here's a bunch of riddles, solve yep. them as fast as you can, and it involves tearing up and destroying things in the box. You can do it once. It's like a one-time use board game. So it, it's not that expensive and you The just, puzzles are basically the same. I've done like it did an escape room with Emily's company a while ago, and it's basically exactly like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just team riddle solving. It's not really escape room. As far as I'm concerned, escape room is like Houdini shit, right? <laughs> and no one does that. It's really just solve riddles and using vague clues and stuff. And it's a particular style of riddle. Yeah. It's like it's always in the end you output like a combination to a save. It's always code breaking, yeah. you know, and the code is just almost, written on and some it's almost sort of like combination of colors, numbers, and letters. Like magic, magic numerology, like turn a letter into a number, into a color, back into a letter, and then you're good. Yeah, it's like that's not, you know, it's I fun. Just think it's a misnomer to call it an escape room. It's like solving riddles is always fun, right? But so it's what's like, an escape I room? Like saw? An escape room 
is like we fucking lock your ass up and close the door. It's like, get out, asshole. That's Saw. <laughs> it's like, Houdini he goes in a safe, he drops it in the ocean, and then he comes up on the shore. That's a fucking escape room, right? Uh, anyway, so... We don't only want to escape from Pax. <laughs> but I want to point out, we're in a really loud room because uh, Pax ends at midnight, and the area just outside of Tabletop, everyone's still here gaming, and the hotel turned the AC way up to try to get us to leave. It's still pretty I don't loud think over they, there. I don't think they just, they, it may have turned it up, but I think really it's just because all the people have left, there's less warm bodies. It happened so quickly, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it's bedtime. Uh, I'm real tired. I'm about to edit this video, and this part is getting too long. So, yep. one more day.